Andy is on the come up. She got a brand new Rolls Royce, a paid off penthouse, and we need to talk about just where do, where is all this money coming from? What's good, y'all? It's your good sister Erica Van coming to you with a new sisters video. The first new one in the new year. So happy new year. I hope the new year is treating you well. Tomorrow night, we will see the premiere of season four of BET and Tyler Perry's Sisters. But before we do, I want to dive in a little bit to our good sis, Andy. Shout out to the subby, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Please correct me if I do. Kanya Mabeso, they said, Happy New Year, sis. I'm thinking maybe Robin bought the penthouse for Andy because in the BTS trailer, they are in Andy's apartment. So if you missed it, I actually did a few videos breaking down the 20 new characters that we are going to see this season on Sisters as well as the season four trailer and a few others. I talk about if Andy is actually done with Robin. There are quite a few videos that you need to catch up on. I will link them in the description box down below as well as the cards above. But when I was breaking down the the trailer and then also when I did the video of is Andy done with Robin and Gary it started to come up of like okay Erica maybe it's not Gary that actually bought her this penthouse I assume that he bought the penthouse because he also bought the Rolls Royce we actually see in the trailer him saying like I bought you this car because I want to get a second chance with you and then we see Andy say it's too late and then we also got a preview but we never actually saw the scene last season where Robin actually asked Andy to move to London with him so he is still very much so wants to be invested wants to be involved there was a scene where we got to see andy think that gary walked out of the bathroom of the hotel that she was in with robin however i made a video about that its title is the threesome scene a dream and it's because i do believe it's a dream if you want to know all the details and the proof in the pudding go ahead and check that video out after you finish this video but that was completely a dream sequence so andy is still dealing with robin pursuing her robin i guess wanted to take things to the next level it's not just a thing for him I guess with sex because their first encounter was definitely that threesome and I was a little bit concerned of like okay Andy if that's the first time that y'all actually do it then what's going to happen the second and can he do it with just you but they actually get it in and seem to be vibing so much to the point where he's like yo I want you to move to London with me so it's not a far stretch of the imagination to think that Robin bought Andy's penthouse to be able to like maybe lessen some of the financial burdens for her because you know some of the things that she would come up with like I can't leave I got my condo I'm still paying on I got this I gotta pay for I got this I got that and if he comes and he's just like okay well that's paid for and it'll be here whenever you're ready to come back for it or whenever you want to come visit your girlfriends if she's like oh I can't leave my friends well we could come here you know very regularly it's all good and this could be a part of an elaborate plot to really just convince her like she should commit to Robin and that she should be in this thing with him and travel the world with him now I don't know how I feel about it because Robin has been given shifty like one he started out being very much so too good to be true then when the whole threesome thing popped up it's like all right now buddy you doing a whole lot but she was with it so I'm like all right Andy if that's what you with sis then we with it I want her to be happy at the end of the day I want Andy to stand in her confidence I want Andy to stand in her joy her bliss and I just want her to be better I just want better for her I swear and part of me wants to feel like Robin is it but then part of me is like nah it's not because honestly whether Robin is a good guy or not Andy does need to get to a place where she can stand 10 toes down on her own and be happy before she'll be able to really be fruitful in any relationship whether it's with a healthy man or another toxic man right so I definitely think that we're going to need to see a stint where Andy is not yo-yoing between men or overly fixated with any man like over like she really needs to fall in love with herself before she falls in love with a new guy however we're going to see the whole thing with Robin play out we're going to see her still you know try to figure out where she falls within this relationship and I think it's going to be kind of interesting to see that which is cool what I'm not actually interested well okay so this is gonna sound a little bit weird I'm not interested in this y'all but I actually am also here for it like the I just want black women to be shower and adore and to be worshipped and all that in me <laughs> wants to see these men kind of battle it out for her affection if Gary gives her a Rolls Royce Robin gives her her penthouse completely paid off all right Gary what you got like what's next like bring on all the gifts bring on all of the like showering of things the only thing that's the problem is that Gary's absolutely toxic and needs to be destroyed he needs to go fall into a, a ditch somewhere yes okay cool but I am totally here for seeing black women be showered with you know luxurious gifts on screen but you know we still need 
scary to go. So that's why it's a little bit complicated. Season four, I think that that's what we're really going to see with Andy. She's going to be tied between the, or going back and forth between the two because whether she says it or not in the trailer of, oh, it's too late. Andy has said this before. I don't think that she's done with Gary. One thing I will say is that if Tyler Perry is going to force us to continue to see Gary and force us to continue to digest the storyline between Andy and Gary, then he needs to give us more proof as to why Andy even loves Gary to begin with. Because all she keeps saying is, I love him, but girl, we don't understand why. We have not seen any of the good that tells us why. I ain't seen no bomb ass date. I haven't seen like ridiculous, mind blowing sex. Like, it's and consistently like girl what is it what are you actually in love with can we see it so that we can maybe empathize because I don't empathize with Andy's Gary struggle at all anymore I'm just kind of like at this point sis you getting what you are asking for because you already know what he come with but that's not what this video is about this video is about who bought the penthouse and could Andy have bought it for herself I don't know y'all I don't think she's at that place financially to be able to get it for herself so I do definitely think that it was a gift it makes more sense with the story and I think that Robin is the one who gave it to her but now it's your turn let me know in the comment section down below how do you think andy acquired this penthouse do you think that robin gave it to her do you think that gary bought it for her? do y'all think that robin is actually going to try to control andy as well let me know all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below it's your good sis erica main and i will see you in my next sister's video bye